Hey y'all, uh, I have an Arduino Pro Mini set up on the breadboard with a serial interface, uh, an FTDI chip. Uh, basically this setup is to demonstrate the PWM features of this Arduino uh, using four channels. Two of the channels that are, uh, are inverted. Um, so what I have here are a couple XY pots connected to uh, certain uh, channel analog channels 0 through 3 and those in turn get read, read back into the Arduino and converted over uh, to a digital word or bits that eventually would create the PWM effect that come out of channels uh, 3, 9, 10, and 11. Now I have a couple scope probes attached and to demonstrate, I have it shown on the oscilloscope screen here. As you can see, I have four channels. Two of the channels are inverted. Uh, and I will demonstrate that uh, by moving the pots from zero to 100%, uh, they will not uh, cause uh, some weird inversion effect where, for instance, if I wanted 100%, that the output will not switch back to 0% and vice versa, 0% to 100%. Um, so with the one of the cha first channel I'm gonna play with, I'm gonna go up and down on this pot. Uh, it doesn't quite go 100%, but I'm sure it can be calibrated out. As you can see, it doesn't, it doesn't flip all the way back to 100%. If I bring it back down, it does not flip to 100%. It stays at zero. If I go left and right, it goes at zero, so it doesn't flip to 100. If I go to 100%, it stays at 100%. Moving over to the next pot, if I go to zero, obviously. I'm hitting the, the 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 limit to the pot, so this is I probably just need to have it calibrated out. I'm sure you that it's not going to go to 100%. If I go to 100%, it stays at 100%. If I go the other direction, left and right, you can see that it goes to zero without flipping over. Same thing with 100%. Now, if we look at the code, in, this, in the setup function, um, I'm using an analog writes three uh, channels 3, 9, 10, and 11 on the digital pins. And those are the pins that are used for PWM control. And they're initially uh, set to 50% since the pots themselves are position centered. And these are the registers that I had modified or at least wrote into uh, to get the uh, two of the four channels to be inverted. In the loop routine, again, there's another set of four registers where I write the uh, uh, the digital equivalent of what is read from the analog uh, portion of the channels um, and they get stored to these registers. So by doing that in the loop um, I can get the PWM effect to work as I need it to and uh, uh, I don't have to worry about uh, some weird inversions that might occur when uh, from other you, some other uh, from other videos that I've, I've seen uh, or have tried uh, on other codes that would have this uh, particular issue, but uh, as I've, seen, I've shown you already, uh, I can achieve four channels to PWM, two of them of which are inverted.